How you doing? What's up? What's going on? How you doing? So I caved. I did not mean to. I was not going to. But I don't know. Maybe it was FOMO. It wasn't FOMO. It just like everything looked so pretty. And I was just like, oh, so I got it. Yes. So I got three of the new Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out um, blushes, cream blushes. Now, normally speaking, I I used to love cream blushes, but the more breakouts that I had, the more difficult it became to find cream, cream blushes that looked really good, that floated above the acne scars rather than sinking into them and exacerbating them and making them look crazy. So I've kind of laid off cream blushes for a little while now, but these were just like literally too pretty to pass up. And I am always enamored with the idea of cream bronzer. I've never tried one. I've always wanted to. I did try the NARS Liquid Laguna a couple of years ago and I did not like that because, not because of the formula or anything, but just because I don't like Laguna as a color. Um, it just, it's not a good match for everybody. So I did pick up one of the cream bronzers in Teddy. Um, she looks like, if I could get it open, I could show you. She looks like this. Um, I decided to get this one, this particular one, because she looked a little bit neutral, but when I got it, um, it is kind of more warm golden, maybe, maybe, we shall see. And then I got three of the cream blushes. I got number four, Crush on Cupid, which is a super bright, um, cool tone pink that looks like that which we're not going to use today because we already know that that'll show up on me really nicely and then I got uh, number six daiquiri dip which is like a bright orange coral which is also kind of cool toned which is you know why I got it so daiquiri dip, dip. ma'am so daiquiri dip looks like this, and here's the swatch right there. It's a really nice cool tone orange coral. Uh, looking forward to using that. Not gonna use it today because we already know that that joint will show up on me as well. Now the one that I wanted more than anything else and the one that I wound up picking up and I'm praying to God that it shows up well and it shows up the right color, I got drama glass. I sure did. This is supposed to be like a cool violet and it swatches violet, you know, really well. That's what she looks like. But my issue with this is when I usually get colors like this, they show up pink on my face. I don't know if it's because of my undertones. Yes, it's probably because of my undertones. They almost always show up pink on me. And then when I looked on the website and I looked at the swatches, and I looked at the models that were being um, used to display this particular color, Every one of the models, except the very dark skin model, it showed up pink on all of them. So we shall see what's going to happen with me today. All right, let me give you a swatch of Teddy. I haven't even swatched it myself because I saw the color and I was like, oh, this is not as cool, neutral as I want it to be. But we shall see. All right, so this is what Teddy looks like. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use it now that I look at it. But we're going to see anyway. All right, so we're going to start the show off with the bronzer. Now, this is going to be a little bit weird because the way that I normally use my bronzers is I usually use two, right? I usually use, um, and, and I prefer neutral to cool tone bronzers. Um, I, I usually use two bronzers if I'm not using a contour. So I usually use a darker bronzer or a contour to carve out the, you know, like my cheekbones or whatever. And then I would use a warmer bronzer to just kind of go over the contour and then go up on my cheeks a little bit because my cheeks are kind of naturally kind of sort of red. Like if I get um, flushed, they turn red, which is why certain blushes don't look right on me. Um, so I normally do that, but because we're gonna be using we're just going to be using the bronzer today. We're going to try to see what we can do with it because I thought that number one, it was darker. And number two, I thought that it was more neutral or cool toned, kind of like Mocha Mommy. Wait, not Mocha Mommy. Um, Caramel Cutie. As a matter of fact, I do have Caramel Cutie somewhere. 
Let me break that joint out real quick. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to let this one succeed or fail on its own. All right. Anyway, let me read what um, the description for this says. It says, a light as air, non-greasy cream bronzer that effortlessly, uh, I pronounced it right today, melts into skin for a natural looking bronze or soft contour in a range of no fuss shades for all skin tones. Um, what else you need to know? This bronzer delivers a natural looking bronze. Blah, 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 blah. I just read that. What? Why do they do this? Anyway, um, I am, I did not get the bronzer brush or what they call the face shaping brush because I don't see the point in doing stuff like that. So I am going to use one of my angled face brushes and we're going to try to see if we can use this as a slight contour um, and probably a bronzer at the same time. We shall see. All right, so. All right, so there is a little bit of shadow building, not a lot. Like I said, I thought that it would be darker. All right, so I can kind of sort of see it, but like not really. So I'm feeling like this bronzer is probably going to be um, a bust for me. Let me try to use my fingers and see if I can get more product. Oh no, it's literally the same color as my skin tone. Got it. But I feel like it showed up a little bit. I feel like it showed up a little bit. I'm like high key mad that the Ilya bronzers did better. Okay. So you guys can tell me whether or not you think it showed up. Personally speaking, I'm not really seeing anything. I'm seeing a slight shadow, but not like, not a whole lot. I'm seeing a very, 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 very slight shadow. All right, so let's, finish my face and move on. I might go over it with the Ilia bronzer. I might not. We don't know yet. We'll see. All right. So this is my face with the uh, cream bronzer. I forgot to say that it is $32. Um, and the shade that I got was uh, Teddy. Let me see what it says Teddy is supposed to be. Okay. So Teddy, is, it doesn't say what the undertone for Teddy is, but it's supposed to be for tan skin tones. The next color after Teddy is chocolate and it is really 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 dark um so yeah i don't know so i think this bronzer is a bust for me which um part of the reason why i wasn't gonna get it like i know everybody loves fenty products but fenty products generally speaking don't really work for me which is why i don't really do um, a lot of Fenty reviews or anything like that. Fenty products just don't work for me. Like, there is no shade for me in the foundation. Um, just, you know. Anyway, so I also got three of the cream br blushes. You saw that. These are $20 a piece. I got Drama Class um, Daiquiri Dip and Crush on Cupid. I am actually going to use Drama, well, Drama Class today um, and see how it works. Um, like I said, I usually love this shade, this color, but it shows up pink on me. And I'm just gonna go in with my regular blush brush because like, this is how I would normally use a cream blush. So if it doesn't work with my brush then, and like I thought, it's just showing up pink on me. These show up really nicely though, but It's pink, like I thought it would be. These are like super pigmented on them here for that. So I do like the blush, I like the blush a lot. Um, it's not purple like I was expecting it to, but um, like, but it's not purple like it looks in the pan on me. It'll probably show up purple on someone else. However, because of my undertones, it, it, it was never going to show up. Um, it was never gonna show up purple. I knew I knew that. But it is showing up a very 
pretty cool tone pink on me which I figured if it didn't show a purple that's what it was going to show up as and I'm okay with this um normally speaking I don't like cream blushes with a sheen but this is really freaking pretty like this is dumb pretty um it is not really emphasizing texture either so yeah I'm kind of here for this I'm probably going to wind up returning the bronzer and getting a couple more of the blushes because I really do like this wow this is dumb pretty man Mm. yeah it's really showing up pink on me like damn all right okay all right so I want to be extra so I'm gonna actually add a little bit of crush on cupid to this just to see how ooh, ooh. Okay, yeah, so I am definitely a fan of these cream blushes. Um, they are infinitely buildable. And I feel like even though I have a lot now on my cheeks, if I were to go in and just like blend it out, I could just like blend it back down to something very manageable, which is, oh, I feel cute right now. I feel real, real cute. Mm -hmm. These are really, really nice, guys. I really like this. This is probably the second Fenty item that I'm like over the moon about because like I said I don't purchase Fenty because it just doesn't work for me. Fenty has a certain demographic and I'm not it which I'm perfectly okay with. You know I'm not a uh, millennial so <clears throat> a lot of their products aren't marketed towards uh, people like me. I'm not about like overly shiny all the time which is weird because like Fenty isn't really shiny per se. Rihanna has a very um understated aesthetic um makeup wise so i'm i'm always very surprised that i don't like more of the stuff that comes out but yeah this is the second item from fenty that i've really liked i liked the the hydrating foundation and the only reason i didn't get it was because fenty doesn't have a shade for me but these blushes are a keeper man the bronzer uh i wouldn't use the the next shade because the jump in between the two of them looks really weird you guys can tell me if you see anything from the actual bronzer on me because I'm I'm not seeing anything show up um, but I could be wrong you could probably see it better on camera um, because sometimes when I'm sitting here under the lights it kind of um, blots things out but I'm truly not seeing anything anything significant like I'm seeing but it's not like significant you know what I mean so now I'm wondering how long these would last I'm not really trying to do a wear test on them though because I don't I don't I don't really care that sounds terrible but I don't um I like the blushes I like the way they look I'm probably gonna wind up getting quite a few more um well more of the cool tone ones because these are really the only real cool tone ones that I could find um the only obviously cool tone ones that I can find that I could find that I liked but there are probably a couple of others but I do really like the blushes a lot the the, the bronzer that's a no for me so one of the things that I'm really really liking about these blushes is I feel like um you they have like a nice little sheen to them so you don't even need highlighter and as someone who doesn't really care for highlighter um this works for me so uh yeah that's like a to me that's like a huge selling point because you don't really need highlighter with these these have their own little sheen and they're not emphasizing texture so if you do have textured skin don't be scared to get them because i feel like you'd be okay because it doesn't look bad like on camera it will look great and then I will sit here in front of the mirror and um, I can see all the imperfections you know but even holding the mirror up very close here it's really not emphasizing texture at all um, so yeah if you have texture on your skin like acne marks or stuff like that don't be afraid one of the things that I really really appreciate about this also is that um, sometimes when you apply cream products uh, over your base, it can lift the base makeup. This hasn't done that, and that's another reason why I had stopped wearing um, cream and liquid blushes, because they do tend to lift your base. This 
didn't do that as many times as I went in and the two different times that I went in with two different blushes it didn't lift or move anything at all everything is still in place so I am here for that yeah these blushes are bomb I really really like these blushes all right yeah not the bronzer so much not the bronzer so much all right guys this is my face these are my thoughts on the Fenty uh, cream blushes and bronzer once again I got the shades Daiquiri Dip Crush on Cupid and Drama Class in the cream blushes and I got Teddy in the bronzer and this is what we got all right guys was this fun oh also don't forget to tell me if you can actually see the bronzer I can't see it all right <laughs> as usual guys it's been real it's been fun and I'll see you guys in the next one bye